Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install Pyho DNS based network wide ad blocking. It's basically an ad blocker, a tracking blocker and web domain or subdomain blocker on your Raspberry Pi or Thinkerboard SPC. I'm going to first go ahead and lower the Diet Pi operating system to my Thinkerboard SPC and then going to install and configure Pi-hole in it. Let's wait for the operating system to be flashed to the SD card. The OS has been completely flashed onto the SD card. Now I'm going to go ahead and load the OS from the Thinkerboard. The OS is ready to be configured, but I'm going to skip the installation and configuration process of DiadPi since I've already made a video on that. You can refer the link in the description for more details or to the top right of the corner for the YouTube video. Once you have reached the DiadPi software configuration page and you have configured the systems like Wi-Fi, etc., then you can go to the browse software page and look for Pi all it should be under DNS software so if you go to social remote access system admin DNS servers and here it is that's all you need for now click OK and what do you like yes okay okay since you'd need a static IP address to be set once you're done with this application I have connected over Ethernet, so uh, exit and just go here and install. And that's it. Installation should take some time since it will download the Pi-hole software from the repository. I'm going to resume back once all the installation is fully done. Before we could go ahead, first you need to set a password. So what you have to do is sudo i hold minus a minus p and it should ask for the user password. So I'm gonna set a password. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and browse in my browser and so next step would be to go ahead and browse the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and check if the file server is active. As you can see, the minimal interface is loading. Let me log in with the password I had set earlier, and I have a complete access to the Pi Hole server. And next, to begin with, I'm going to use this IP address and set it on my network interface. So you can see it's currently DSCP automatic. I'm going to switch it to manual and enter the IP address of the Pi-hole server. Change the to manual. Set a random static IP address.
this will be the IP address of the router and finally the IP address there's a DNS server here it will be the Raspberry Pi or Thinkerboard with Pi hole on it once you're done next go back and if you refresh you should see that there are two clients because it will even initiate the local host as a client and this is the IP address of my computer and as you can see it's already showing the queries and these are all the queries which my computer is sending through the internet you can always go through any of them and you can blacklist it that is the whole process or you can go to tools network and you can even view all the other interfaces in the network and to block blacklist or whitelist you can whitelist any specific domains which can be bypassed if it was blocked by the Pi-hole server or blacklist any websites. As usual you can always go ahead and flush the logs and now we visit the domain and we should be all zero. Let me go ahead and visit google.com and you can see Internally, the web browser is sending queries through all these domains. So that's all I had for now. Thank you.